it's becoming a common sight. Backyards and even part of business premises are being set aside for growing potatoes. Sarudzai Washaya was the first in her neighborhood. Her success has made her a veritable Pied Piper. Neighbors and passers-by flock to her house and her phone is ringing off the hook with calls from all over the country. Everyone, it seems, wants the formula to strike it rich too. None of the women I have trained have failed. After their first taste of the money from potatoes, they always come back for more. Growing potatoes in sacks is an Israeli adopted technology which can yield up to three times more than would be achieved using traditional methods. It also lends itself well to crammed urban areas. There are 520 sacks of potatoes here. The ladies behind me expect that each will yield about 20 kilograms, which will give them 10,400 kilograms. At a current market value of about 60 cents, they're expecting no less than $6,240 when they take them to the market. The returns dwarf those from traditional small enterprises. Former vendors have abandoned their stalls and jumped onto the bandwagon. I have never done any agriculture before. It's my first attempt at farming. I have no land, but this is something that I realized I could do with little space, so that's why I'm trying. But could the bubble burst soon? Prices of potatoes have dropped by about 25% since the beginning of the year. Still not enough to deter these women, though. We want the market to be flooded. That will ensure food security. It will also allow us to export to lucrative markets. We can't do so now because we need to satisfy the local demand first. Big dreams for these potato entrepreneurs who clearly believe they have found in these sacks their diamonds in the dirt. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.